express the following fractions as percentages. To convert the fraction as percentage, we have to multiply the fraction with 100. First one, 4 by 5. To convert this into a percentage, multiply 4 by 5 with 100. So, 4 by 5 into 100. We can write this as 4 into 100 by 5. 4 into 100 is 400. So, this will be equal to 400 by 5. Let us simplify this in the rough work. Common factor of 400 and 5 is 5. Divide both of them with common factor. When we divide 400 with 5, we get 80. When we divide 5 with 5, we get 1. The values left are 80 by 1, which is equal to 80. So, 4 by 5 has a percentage is 80 percent. Next one, 2 1 by 4. This is a mixed fraction. We have to convert this into improper fraction. This will be equal to 4 into 2 plus 1 by 4. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So this will be equal to 9 by 4. To convert this into percentage, we have to multiply with 100. So 9 by 4 into 100. Let us simplify this in the rough work. Common factor of 100 and 4 is 4. Divide both of them with common factor. When we divide 100 with 4, we get 25. When we divide 4 with 4, we get 1. The values left are 9 by 1 into 25, which is equal to 9 into 25. 9 into 25 is 225. So, 2 1 by 4 as a percentage is 225 percent. Next one, 2 by 3. To convert this into percentage, we have to multiply with 100. So, 2 by 3 into 100. We can write this as 2 into 100 by 3. 2 into 100 is 200. So, we can write this as 200 by 3. There are no common factors for 200 and 3. So, 2 by 3 as a percentage is 200 by 3 percent. This is an improper fraction. We can convert this into mixed fraction. Then it will be equal to 66, 2 by 3 percent. Next one, 7 by 5. To convert this into percentage, we have to multiply this with 100. So, 7 by 5 into 100. Let us simplify this in the rough work. Common factor of 100 and 5 is 5. Divide both of them with common factor. When we divide 100 with 5, we get 20. When we divide 5 with 5, we get 1. The values left are 7 by 1 into 20, which is equal to 7 into 20. 7 into 20 is 140. So, 7 by 5 as a percentage is 140 percent. 